Today, we're just going to go through everything that we know about Thor's Floor 2 at the time of recording. But let's just get into this, as we're going to talk about all the current rooms that we know about, all the entities, all the items, and a few other stuff. Like, first of all, what is Floor 2? Floor 2 is, I believe, going to be the next major update for Thor's. It's going to add an entirely new level, which I'm assuming is going to add Thor's 100 to 200. It's going to add another whole 100 doors to the game. Now, if you're wondering how we're actually going to get to it, I'm assuming is that when we go down the elevator at the end of door 100, and when we crash and everything, when we wake up from that, at the end of that, we're going to wake up in floor 2 after the elevator has crashed. How we survive that, I have no idea. But we're just going to wake up down there. Uh, but don't worry, because I'm assuming that you'd be able to enter it just like you can with the back door level through the create an elevator button. And there will probably be another way to enter it somehow in the lobby, which will be interesting to see how they do that. But anyway, floor 2, if you don't know, is going to be located in the mines, an underground floor. So this is going to be pretty different to all the other levels that we've gotten so far. Uh, when the game hit 4 billion visits, the developer released this image that I'll put on screen now, revealing the name of Floor 2 to be The Mines. We got the hotel and now it's The Mines. It's an interesting direction to go, but I think it's really cool. In the image, we see what looks to be Door 101, with the broken elevator and the cave lights, I don't know what they're called, but like the industrial lights, I guess, as well as a brand new item, which I'll get into in a second. But talking about the rooms in Floor 2, in another image, we see what looks to be a floor of bricks and a pillar of bricks. A lot of bricks go. On. First thing that comes to mind for me is a castle or a dungeon of some sort. I don't know. Doesn't really make sense of a castle being underground, but you don't know what's happening. You don't know the lore. Who knows the castle may have sunk it into the ground or something? I don't know. We're literally in a hotel that's floating on a lake. Wh what is this? There isn't too much of this first image. It's literally just looking at a floor. But what we can tell from this image is that it won't always just be rocks and stone and, you know, basic caves, really. Which is actually kind of nice to see. In another image, well, I say image, drawing, <laughs> made by Redables, a developer of doors. It shows a room that may appear in floor two. This looks really cool. There's a lot going on with the elevation. It's not just the flat rooms, which we know of, you know, you just walk from door to door. And we can see what looks like a tunnel that may have some sort of potential sewer system or like cave river or something going through it. Or maybe that we have to go through it, which would be kind of cool. We also see a wall covered in black drawing. I don't know why. What this actually is, I have no clue, but it's definitely not a painting as that would just be a square. It could potentially be a hole, but I, I don't really know. But I thought I'd just like to point it out to you guys. Let me know what you think of what it is in the comments down below. But as well as this drawing, we have another of a different room that Redables drew up. This one is also interesting as it shows two doors, one really high up and one really low from it, the other one, with no way of getting to either of them. There's no stairs, there's no ladder of what he drew at least. There might be in the game, but there's no stairs, there's no ladders, there's no way to get from down there to up there. As well as this, we also see three holes or circles in the wall. When I saw that, the first thing I thought of were those weird slides in the back room found footage videos. I don't, I don't know why. But these could be like some sort of pipes or maybe you do actually have to first slide down them. I don't know. It could just be decor. It's probably decoration. In the teaser trailer that we got quite recently, we see full on what one of those rooms actually look like. I'm guessing this will be quite a common room that you'll come across. It's nothing like door 50 or door 100 in the hotel level. But it's something that I'm assuming that you'd come across quite a lot. And in it, we can see new variations of knockers, drawers, and even the lighting of the uh, small industrial hanging lights and the, the, the one on the ground with the two lights on it. It'll be cool to see what it looks like when Rush or Blitz or something comes through, rushing through. But in this trailer we also see a, a minecart which is actually really interesting because what happens in the video is that it just falls off a cliff and also goes down a hill and kills someone which is gonna be hilarious in game. Now the first thing that I think of is some sort of puzzle involving the minecart because it respawns. If it was just some sort of gag it wouldn't have respawned. It would just fall off the cliff, you know, and stay down there. But no, it respawns. There's literally like whole lighting up effects with blue guiding lightness around it and it just spawns. So I'd, I don't know what the minecart's for yet, but we'll soon find out. So my guess is that the minecart has some sort of purpose to the player. But moving on, in an image celebrating 3 billion visits, apparently there is a new room in the background of this image. It's very blurred though, so you can't really make it out. But someone's brightened it and it looks like to me some sort of big building in a cave, which would be really cool if that's the case. Potentially, this is where this humanoid figure that I'll put on screen lives. Oh, what humanoid figure? You don't know what this guy is? Oh, this this guy, wherever he is? I'll get onto that in a second. But before we get into the entities, I'm going to talk about the items that we know will be in floor two. So first of all, like we saw earlier, we have the new glow stick item. I'm guessing it will have something unique about it. Not sure what yet, because just having another item like the flashlight or the lighter that isn't really different would just be kind of weird to add. But the first thing that comes to mind for me is seeing things that we wouldn't normally be 
being able to see, you know, with like a UV light in Phasmophobia, where you can see the ghost's fingerprints. Something like that would be pretty cool, but I, I doubt that would be the case because this isn't Phasmophobia. Maybe it could scare away entities. Maybe Screech won't spawn if you have a glow stick on you. That would be pretty cool. But moving on, we have Shears. Now, these were accidentally added into the game in the Hotel Plus update, but they have now been removed from the game. <laughs> now, when they were in the game, they had no use. They did absolutely nothing. But I'm assuming because they're shears, you know, they're scissors. I'm assuming you'd be able to cut something off like vines that might be covering some sort of door or passageway that you'd need to go through. Maybe they're the equivalent of lockpicks in floor two. So you have lockpicks in floor one. Shears are the equivalent of lockpicks, but just in floor two. So there might just be no locks in floor two. Instead, you'd need to use the shears to chop off the vines on the door. Pretty interesting to see what they'll be used for. But next we have the battery pack. This was shown in the latest teaser trailer for floor two. And the battery pack, I'm guessing, will be used to, well, store batteries, which you can use for your flashlight. So if you come across more batteries currently in the game, you will just, you can't pick them up. You just have to walk past them. But I'm guessing if you have a battery pack on you, you can probably carry up to, what was it, four, five batteries at once, which will just auto reload into the flashlight, which would be pretty cool. That's what I'm guessing, at least. We actually, I don't believe we've seen them in action. And finally, the last new item inside of this level is the angle head flashlight or angel head flashlight. This is the another flashlight in the game, which by the looks of it allows you to activate the flashlight while holding something, which will be amazing, especially if you're going through some like really dark area and maybe there's a locked door in front of you or you just want to crucifix something or you just want to, you know, see what's in front of you while doing something else, you know, but having some sort of light without needing to hold a flashlight is just going to be really useful. And I'm also assuming that any item you take from floor one to floor two will stay in your inventory. So if you have a crucifix on you when you're going through the elevator at door 100, when do you end up at floor two, you still have it on you. And I'm also also interested to see if rifts will actually spawn in floor two. I'm assuming they won't, you know, just like they don't in the back door level. And that's it for the items that we know of that are going to be added. But let's move on to the entity, shall we? Now, the first entity is uh, what I'm calling a, a the locker entity. If you take a look around 21 seconds into the teaser trailer, you'll see that there is something red inside of that locker. Now, what this entity will actually do is, I'm assuming it will make it so that you can't go into that locker. Sort of like, what is it, Jack sort of pushes you out of the locker. If you do enter it, it will kill you or something like that or deal some damage to you. Basically, in short, that locker is a not not good. It don't enter that locker. I don't believe we know the name of it, but I'm just calling it the locker entity for now. Moving on to the next one, which once again doesn't have a name. I'm calling it the humanoid entity. We actually haven't seen this in game yet, unlike the last entity, but Red Bull's a developer of Dawns <laughs> drew this once again. It's apparently an upcoming entity that will be in floor two. It definitely looks human. So the first thing that comes to mind is something like Seek or maybe it's something like El Goblino, where it's a friendly entity. He seems to have some sort of over coat on him, so maybe he's like a lost miner deep in the caves of the hotel, or he might just be some lost NPC or something that tries to sell you some things around door 150, like Jeff Shop does at door 51, but pretty interesting either way. Now, the next entity I'm going to talk about is Figure. This isn't a new entity. This is the main boss, I, su I suppose you can call it, of floor one. Now, this is just me taking a big guess, but we all know Figure has it out for us for some reason, you know. <laughs> what have we done to him except for set him on fire? As you know, I mean, at the end of door 100, he literally makes the elevator that we are in crash. But at the same time, he falls to the side, but he doesn't die. He just fell to the side in an area that looks very similar to floor two. If you know the industrial lights and the cave, we, we know, in an actual cave. So I'm going to call it now and say that that won't be the last that we're going to see or figure. He's going to make a dramatic return for sure. Just like he made a dramatic fall out of that window. And that's it for the entities. Currently, there is no release date for floor two. The developers of Doors have said that they are aiming for an early summer release. So that means like around June, I, don't, I suppose, June, July. But that's apparently in an ideal world. We may not even see this update until, you know, fall or September, or maybe even January next year. We know what happened with the Hotel Plus update. But that's everything I believe for now that we know of Floor 2. Please do let me know your theories in the comments down below of what might happen in Floor 2, or if I miss something in Floor 2, I'm, I bound to miss something. Thank you all so much for watching, and see ya!